Block Productions. beautiful nieces and my handsome nephews, divine feminine and divine masculine. Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. It's your girl, Scorpion Queen, but you can call me auntie. I'm that auntie that comes to tell you the truth because the truth tells me. So I'm going to just jump straight off into this reading. It is a general reading. So it may or may not resonate with your energy. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. All right? This reading, I'm going to start staying focused on divine masculine, divine feminine, and the karmic energies surrounding it. Now... <clears throat> There's the energy of an ex from the past um, that a divine masculine, I feel like he married an ex from his past. Now, when he was with divine feminine, he was still fooling around with this karmic ex as a side piece. Or she may be looking at divine feminine as the side piece. Some of you may have found out that your person is married, okay? Somebody made with the video out here, there could have been a video. Somebody, you know, with, with the cover in their face in the video out here, Divine Feminine, I believe you found out about your Divine Masculine getting married, okay? They, they married this Carmen, okay? And, and and something happened. This karmic, she did some sort of candle match. Okay? And with the balcony out here, the land of love, I feel like something happened on the balcony when it came to this karmic. Or it could have happened, something could have happened between you and this divine masculine. But um, it's rings out here. And this banishment out here, divine feminine has severed ties with this masculine, okay? Or this can mean divine masculine may have severed ties with the karmic. This is a general reading. So you have to take the energy where it resonates with you and you own it, okay? When it comes to you and your person and a, um, a karmic energy, this could be an ex, uh, a side piece, ex-baby mama, ex-girlfriend, ex-wife. Whoever they are, they're they're on the opposing side of your relationship. Okay, but somebody seen a video. Okay, there could be gossip about a video when it comes to this divine master. Okay, and we have the energy of an ex-friend. So some of you, 
This could be um, an ex-friend of yours could have gossiped and told you that this masculine got married. For some of you, it could be an ex from the past that's gossiping about her and the masculine getting married. Okay, take the energies where they resonate. But somebody is wondering how Divine Feminine is doing. They asking how she doing. This Divine Masculine is asking how is Divine Feminine doing since, you know, there's gossip about it. It must be true. I don't know. Um, but it is a wedding out here and it is rings out here. This could mean there's some sort of gossip about this masculine marrying this karmic, marrying his ex. But the cold thing is, he may have married her. He didn't want his divine feminine to find out. And now this masculine, he's covering his face. I'm trying to pick up this card. He's covering his face. Okay. And side piece is out here twice. So this is this is uh, a confirmation. A masculine, a divine masculine, he could have married his side piece. Okay. Um, weed out here. A potted plant. It could be um, somebody could have a potted plant on a balcony or something. It could be, it could either be a fruit tree or a weed tree, or it could be um, both, okay? The fruit tree, it ain't bearing no fruit on this balcony, but the weed is, <laughs> they caring more about the weed. <laughs> this could be your energy, divine feminine or divine masculine, I don't know, but somebody got a fruit tree on the balcony and it ain't bearing fruit. The side piece could have a fruit tree on the on the balcony and ain't bearing fruit. But it's bearing is it's it's sprouting buds. Okay. These are cards that I made, so this is why I'm saying just take the energy where it resonates with you. The police is out here. Somebody may have falsely called the police on somebody. The side piece could have falsely called the police on a divine masculine. So tell me more about this karmic ex, wife, ex girlfriend, baby mama. That this masculine married to. For some of you, you could be married to this masculine, and, and he could have married this karmic. I mean, um, yeah, he married her. She has money. So this masculine tried to use this karmic, so he married her for money. Tell me more about this divine masculine and this karmic feminine. That's coming in between divine masculine and the karmic and the divine feminine. He can't stand being around her. See, this keeps coming up in the reading. See, these masculines are being awakened to karmic energy. And now they can't stand being around them. Okay. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. This masculine is realizing that he made a huge mistake when he married this karma. People are gossiping about them. He's in fear. He could be in fear of her calling the police on him. They're not destined to be together with destiny in reverse. And his masculine is finding this out. Somebody's name may be destiny. Okay. Tell me more. For so, so, so some of you divine feminine, this masculine, he wants to, to apologize to you for gossiping. Okay. He may try to bring you a, a plant. He want to apologize to you for marrying this karmic. And if you saw it on video, he's saying I only went there because I like low vibing. He likes low vibrational people, low vibrational energy. So this karmic is a, a low vibrational energy. 
Murphy says, please forgive me, Divine Feminine. I can't stand being around her. Tell me more. So, this Divine Masculine is trying to figure out how is Divine Feminine doing. Since um, he could have tried to keep this wedding a secret. Truth and clarity. Divine Feminine got the truth. It may not only been gossiping, it, it could have been the truth. Okay? Tell me more, Holy Spirit, about the energy going around Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, and this Karmic Feminine. She's always trying to feed me. Tell me more. This masculine, I follow you on social media under a false name. So he's watching you, Divine Feminine. And since he, he was following you, she found your social media and she photoshopped some pictures. Okay. Now, this could be that karmic energy. She could be following you. Under a false social name, social media name, um, doing photoshopping some pictures. Why is she photoshopping pictures of divine feminine? Why is this karmic feminine photoshopping pictures of divine feminine? This masculine says, I'm sad because I didn't listen to you when you told me that she had me under a spell. I love your confidence, Divine Feminine. And she only used me. And I cry at night because I miss that good feeling that you gave me. When it comes to love, I'm very immature and quiet. And she's so jealous of me. She told me that you done spell work on me. And I'm lost without you. Fake belly. So this masculine, he could have, this is why he may not, you know, can't stand being around her because he could have married this karmic energy because she told him she was pregnant. She could have been living in another city or another state. And he wasn't able to see her during this pregnancy, so she manipulated him. Okay. Tell me more about the karmic energy, divine masculine and divine feminine, Holy Spirit. Show me the energy of the karmic energy between divine feminine and divine masculine. Patience. Self-control. Clarify the patience. For divine feminine, divine master. Time to say goodbye in reverse. Somebody don't want somebody to say goodbye. So this this karmic energy um, don't want to say goodbye to this masculine, and he he knows it. So he's trying to, you know, use self control to control his actions to telling her goodbye. This could be somebody he's dealt with from the past. This is an ex that he's been going back and forth with. And she don't want she don't want him to let go. For some of you, this divine masculine um, has a friend around him, or he could be the prince of pussies. Confession of love. This karmic energy may have confessed to this masculine that she loved him. Or she may be trying to get this masculine to tell her that he loves her. Maybe he have told he may cry at night because he may have confessed to this karmic that he's in love with his divine feminine. Okay. And he could be trying to have patience when it comes to this karmic. 
to tell her goodbye because he knows she don't want it want it to end. And he realized this is a, 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 a big mistake. And this is why he's covering his face. He's embarrassed. Okay. People are gossiping about him now. And now he's crying at night because he missed his divine feminine. And he went back to a, a karmic ex. And now he got the truth and the clarity. Now, for some of you, this could be, have happened in the past. This could be currently going on for somebody. Or for some of you, this could be some energy coming towards you. Okay? Tell me more about divine feminine, divine masculine, and this karmic energy. Reject. Yeah, so, yeah, this masculine, he's rejecting this karmic. She's, it's, it's, it's like, she knows that this masculine don't want to be with her no more and he wants to go back to his divine feminine. So she's telling him she love him, you know, all of this. He's he's made a firm rejection to her, okay? And he's a, a, he, he told her in an aggressive way that he loves divine feminine and that he made a big mistake. But this karmic energy don't want don't want it to end. For some of you, this is a side piece of this masculine. Somebody he was just messing around with. He could have used this karmic energy to make divine feminine jealous. And now he's crying and wants to apologize. Yeah, he was wooing out here seeking others, searching for other encounters. Mm-hmm. Somebody could have been fucking on the balcony. Don't mean to sound so rude, but somebody had sex on a balcony. This balcony could have a weed plant on it or a fruit tree. Wise, trustworthy, caring, optimistic. Yeah, this masculine told this karmic energy that he loves divine feminine because divine feminine makes wise decisions. He could trust her. She's caring and she's optimistic. Okay. And he was out there wooing, looking for, for somebody like that in divine feminine right there in his face and he didn't see it. Now he sees it and he realized it, that it's a it was a big mistake. He's scared and he's crying. He wants to apologize. And for some of you, divine feminine could have married somebody. This, this masculine, I mean, this masculine could, ex-friend or your ex-friend, Divine Feminine, could have told this masculine that you got married to an ex from your past. Okay? Take it where it resonates. Yep. Reconcile in reverse. Somebody don't want to reconcile. This could be this Divine Masculine do not want to reconcile with this karmic energy. This can mean divine feminine may not want to reconcile with her divine master. Okay. You guys, I don't know your story. This is this is the energy that's out here. So you have to, you know, discern what goes with you. Okay. Tell me more. And I'm asking everybody to hit that thumbs up button for me. If this is your story or if you like this story determination so see like I'm saying this can go in different ways with determinations out here and confession of love this masculine could be determined to tell his divine feminine that he's he's in love with her um, that he loves her this could be the determination of this karmic can be term determined to tell this masculine that she's in love with him but whoever it is um, somebody is also being rejected and they don't want to reconcile. So take it where it resonates. It can be divine feminine don't want to reconcile with this masculine. And maybe he's he's wanting to confess his love to her and she don't want to reconcile with him. Or this could be this karmic energy wanting to to um reconcile, I mean wanting to reconcile with this divine masculine and he don't want to. Okay, it's either you or your person. So take it that way, okay? Tell me more. About divine feminine and divine masculine and the karmic. Tell me more. 
Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, and Karmic. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, and Karmic. This divine, fem this divine masculine wants to kiss his, his uh, divine feminine. That's all he can think about. That's all he can think about. Kissing you. So, okay. Divine masculine wants to know how is divine feminine doing, Holy Spirit. Let's show divine masculine how the divine feminine is doing. She ain't talking to him. This came out in reverse. This is divine feminine. But divine feminine is not dark. So I won't say, you know, that this divine feminine is being dark or she's evil because she came out in reverse. This divine feminine is not talking to this divine masculine. She don't want to talk to this divine masculine. Okay. How's divine feminine doing? An apology. Now, for some of you divine feminines, this the, the energy of the dark feminine can be coming to apologize to you. The energy of the, the ex can be the dark feminine that may be coming to apologize to you. Um, this could be divine masculine wanting forgiveness from you. Okay. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Okay, so Divine Feminine, okay, the energy I'm feeling now is whoever this, whoever you are, Divine Feminine, you're not talking to this Divine Masculine. And he wants, he, he's apologizing to you and he's afraid that you're going to reject him. He don't want you to reject him. Okay, he's saying to himself, someday, somewhere, another time, we'll be together. Okay, even though you're not talking to him. And when he comes to you, with his an apology, he's going to come clean, okay? He's going to confess some shit. And for some of you, he may be apologizing to you um, in an email, a text message. But he wants you to, he don't want you to reject him. He don't want to feel abandoned by you. And for some of you, he already, he, he did the abandon. Yeah, and it broke your heart. Have you feeling trapped in a situation? Stuck, tied down, like you was held captive? But see, this, this masculine, he didn't listen to his intuition. Okay, and he could be trying to send you some sort of love songs through through telepathic, you know, energy. You may be hearing songs. You may walk in the store and a song comes on that reminds you of him or something he dedicated to you or... You could be driving in your car. You can be listening to a playlist and it just pop up out of order or something. This this divine masculine, he didn't set no boundaries and he didn't want you to set no boundaries with him. Okay, and he's apologizing to you. Divine feminine. Yeah, he's angry. He may be bitter. You know, he could have said some hurtful words towards you, divine feminine. But them hurtful words were directed towards you. Okay. He have no reason to be mad at you. He had no reason to say the hurtful words that he spoke to you. This is why he wants your forgiveness. He broke your heart. Okay. And some of you divine feminists, you're getting over this. Yeah. And you don't want a new beginning with this person. Yeah. They hurt. They broken hearted now because you distance yourself. And they don't like this separation between you and them. They don't like the space. They don't like for some of you that you done blocked them. They don't like that. Now they're feeling trapped. This divine masculine is feeling trapped. Okay? And this karmic is feeling trapped because he's no longer chasing her no more. And see, this masculine is feeling trapped because divine feminine is not chasing him no more. And she don't want a new beginning with him. Okay? Tell me more about Divine Masculine. 
the divine feminine in the karma. Depressed, sorrow. This is the same thing as a broken heart. Divine feminine, you got over this broken heart from this masculine, and now you're no longer depressed. They're trapped because you're not depressed. And see, this, this energy, this divine masculine, he sees that he's aware of now of who divine feminine is. Okay? You are in, of, of, of uh, importance to him. And he values you. And he broke your heart. And now is he's fucked up and feeling trapped because you don't want a new beginning with him. Okay? So how is divine feminine doing? Okay, so this this divine feminine, she was feeling she felt left out in the cold by this masculine. This masculine, this divine masculine walked away from this part from the divine feminine. And some of you divine feminines have not healed, you haven't released this masculine energy. Because you know he's your divine your divine masculine and he wants to apologize. There's chemistry between divine feminine and divine masculine. There's attraction, spark of passion. But see, this divine masculine, he didn't, he didn't, he wasn't aware of who you were. Okay, but now he's aware. He's aware now. Okay. He don't want to go through no more turmoil with you. He don't want to have you feeling troubled and, and all fucked up, divine feminine. He's thinking about you. He's missing you and craving her. Okay. And he's chasing you. This is how he feels about you. Ecstasy. Okay. You give him thrills. Tell me more. And he knows he's not better off without his divine feminine. He's not happy without his divine feminine. And he hasn't cleared his head space when it comes to divine feminine. He's thinking about her. Okay? He's thinking about a good time. He's also thinking about how the hurtful words that he said to you. How he was out there chasing toxicity. How angry he got with you when you set boundaries with him. Where he didn't want you to tell him no. He wanted you to accept that. Accept him and his low vibrational ways. Okay? You're no longer in pain. Okay. This person, they don't want to run from you no more. Whoever they were, they was ghosting you. They became invisible. You would call them and they wouldn't message you back. You would, you know, try to find them. You couldn't find them. They was, you just couldn't find them. That's because they had went and married somebody else. They just disappeared on you. Okay. But now that they didn't married this person... They're, they want divine feminine back. This divine masculine wants this divine feminine back. And he's married to a dark karmic. Okay. Clarify this divine feminine in reverse. Hopeless. Falling apart. In despair. And that's how she wanted divine feminine to be feeling that way. But divine feminine don't. Divine feminine is in the, op the opposite. Instead of you sinking, you coming up. Instead of you falling apart, you put yourself back together. You're the total opposite. Okay? There could have been gossip saying that Divine Feminine was dark. Here's gossip. Here's com commitment. Self-growth, self-focus, and soul-finding in reverse. See... This this masculine, he, he committed to this karmic and there's no growth in the relationship. He don't know who the fuck he is. Okay? He can't focus on himself. He can't love himself. Because he's with the karmic. And she's doing some sort of candle magic. Clarify the candle magic from this ex. This is how she got him to marry her. Doing candle magic. She did some sort of candle magic so he wouldn't build the foundation with his divine feminine. So he wouldn't wouldn't have divine feminine to feel secure in a relationship, to establish a connection. Yeah, she did this on purpose. 
turn it more. And see this masculine, he don't he don't have the clarity that this karmic did candle magic for him to marry her. Okay, for him to commit to her. And if he haven't married her, she doing candle magic to get a pro, uh, uh, a proposal from this masculine. Okay. This which this is what left divine feminine feeling, you know, empty. But you've moved on, you're doing better. This person, this divine masculine is spying on this divine feminine, or this karmic energy could be spying because he was blocking his emotions from divine feminine, sending her all sorts of mixed signals. Okay. And now he's spying him and the karmic bowl on your social media. Didn't I say that already? Because divine feminine don't want to, uh, uh, she's not caring for this person. She's not craving for him. She's not wanting him. But he wants a second chance with you. He wants to return. Okay. So this karmic edge, she, she did some sort of um, candle magic. Okay. And she's going to receive karma. She's going to suffer the consequences. Tell me more, spirit. The karma is that this masculine is trying to manifest his divine feminine back. He's hoping and wishing that his divine feminine comes back to him. He's all he's all off balance right now. He's in a distorted energy because he wants his divine feminine back. This is why he's asking, how is divine feminine doing? I want to apologize to her. Tell me more about this divine masculine and this karmic feminine and divine feminine. Somebody's name may start with the letter P. I hear Paul, Pam, Patty, Patricia, Patrice. Tell me more. Yeah, stressed. Somebody is stressed out. This divine masculine is stressed out because he wants you, divine feminine. Okay? P-U. Somebody, P-U. Up. Somebody is sick. Came out both. They're sick. See, both of them is sick. See, this karmic feminine, she's sick because divine masculine wants his divine feminine back. This divine masculine is sick because divine feminine don't want him no more. Okay? They both sick. Tell me more. You give him butterflies, divine feminine. And I'm going to have to go on and end this real quick because I am cooking my dinner. Tell me more. The letter O. This could be an op. D. Some of you, this could be a, with the DOP. It could be a doppelganger. Somebody could be baking a cake. Dough. Something about a pod. Why? Why O U? Yolanda, Yancey, your niece. Pure intentions. So this divine masculine, he's having pure intentions when he's thinking about his divine feminine, and this could be making his karmic sick. Because the masculine has pure intentions to, on coming back towards to, to his divine feminine. And this is making her sick. And I'm going to stop it right there. If this reading resonated with you, then go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out.